Kyle's group has done, okay, write this down, over 3,000 transactions and over a billion dollars in real estate, which made it really easy for me to come up with my very first question for Kyle. And that was, how in creation did you get where you are today? Loaded. Yeah. <laughs> it's really easy because um, I've done a lot of studying and a lot of analysis on this. And people ask a lot, like, what makes the difference between like an average agent and, and what you do or what, what I do? And honestly, it's implementation. That's the number one thing. That's where everybody screws it up is they go to a big conference, right? Whether it be their company conference or a big coach conference. And they walk away with like this book this thick and there's notes and notes and pages and pages of notes. And then they go home and they set that book on a desk and never to be seen again. Yeah. Right. They, they maybe use it once to like hold paper down or, or something, but like they never actually open the book up and do anything with all the content they consume for that like three or four day event. Like I that's where people screw up. I love that you just hit the word implementation because honestly, I hadn't thought of that. And that might be a game changer for people who are saying, you know, how did you guys achieve this success? Why does this agent sell X? And why does this agent, you know, are they able to accomplish this? And I think you just hit the nail on the head. It's because they're actually doing the activities. You know, um, I actually went to your Be Different conference and you were nice enough to let me speak and share at your conference. And I want to just give a little advice on how to handle that since you're talking about implementation. You guys, when you're attending a conference, whether it's virtual or in person, and let's guess that for sure in the next six months, we will be back to in person, um, that you leave that conference with a couple of things that you're committed to implementing, right? You know, don't do what Kyle's talking about. Don't make it a paperweight. Um, so how then from an implementation standpoint, like give us a couple tips, like what you did to, you know, you go to a conference or you, you get off the phone with your coach or you get to sit in one of those amazing rooms you sit in, like, how did you put it in motion? Cause I think a lot of agents are stuck. For sure. So, I mean, where I'm at now, I get to do a lot of delegation, which is nice. So we just finished, we do a mastermind with our group at EXP every Monday. And so I literally just finished that right before hopping on here. And one of the things was we're trying to figure out like, what can we do for client events during COVID? Because client events have always been a huge part of our business. So our last one was like the week before everything got shut down and we had rented out a movie theater and did a really fun event. And so on our mastermind today, I was just getting ideas from other people of what are you guys doing? Like, what the, what can we do in this world to still bring our clients together, show our appreciation for them and get a little FaceTime? Um, and so somebody brought the idea up of doing a drive-in movie theater. And I was like, holy shit, I have one that's like two miles away from my office. So immediately before the mastermind's even over, I'm already messaging my assistant and tasking him with figuring out how can we rent it and how soon can we get it rented for an event before the mastermind's even over. Right. So I think that's the key is you've, you've got to just implement immediately. Like if there are, if you're in a room with a lot of really smart people and somebody brings up a really good idea, don't even like second guess it, just go, right? Like trust the people around you, the people that you surround yourself with, because that would be another you know big tip of how to get to where I am is I've surrounded myself with people that are at you know the level where I want to get to. Um, if you're in that room, if you get that opportunity and somebody makes that suggestion, just go blindly. Like, don't don't second guess it. Don't try to talk yourself out of it because that's what most of us do. Like, well, I mean, what's it going to cost me to rent the movie theater? Like, Well, I mean, are there any new movies that are coming out? Well, I mean, I don't know if my clients are going to be into that. I don't I mean, I'm not going to get a lot of FaceTime. Shut up. Just do it. Like, Don't talk yeah. yourself out of it. Right. Because people find it, it's easier to talk themselves out of it than to just blindly charge forward and do it. 